What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So you got your OnePlus 7 Pro. And as of right now, the cameras are okay. It's not the best, right? But I'm using an app that's called Filmic Pro. I've made a video about it already, and that's my go-to uh, program for filming a lot of my videos. So I decided today to show you guys some footage here using Filmic Pro, uh, and I got my gimbal here, uh, using Filmic Pro and some of the things you could do to fix some of the issues uh, of your OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, now we haven't received the update yet as of recording this video. I haven't received uh, the updates that everybody been saying about fixing the cameras, uh, but a lot of people was asking questions uh, as bad as the cameras are. It's more software than cameras so I'm gonna use filmic pro here in this video and show you guys some uh, color uh, corrections and stuff like that uh, the before and after also some of the modes here that you can use filmic pro again I'm using my gimbal and I got it propped up here and I'm gonna show you guys some things here using filmic pro so sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and let's have some fun with the one plus seven pro let's go Alright guys, so if you got the OnePlus 7 Pro and you don't like the cameras or whatever, this is Filmic Pro, right? Right now I'm shooting this in log uh, and I'm going to do pre-production to fix this with a Lux Pack or some color grading uh, to fix this. So look, a lot of y'all that don't like the, the cameras on the OnePlus 7 Pro, it can be fixed. Very simple with an app or we got to wait for a future update. But in this video, I'm gonna show you Filmic Pro that can fix some of the issues that y'all guys uh, may have with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, as you can see, uh, the background is a lot flat. I'm shooting this in log, log right now without the color grading. And I'm gonna show you guys really quick on the color grading after I do post-production. So, boom. Right now, this is the color grading. As you can see, things look a whole lot better. And now you loving uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro because now you get to see how good the camera is uh, with color grading and post-production and stuff like that. So it's not as bad as you think uh, and uh, so I just want y'all got to see this is uh, the uh, color grading after post-production uh, with log support. Now if you don't want to use you know log and try to do editing on your computer let me turn it into dynamic uh, using Filmic Pro so you don't have to use your computer to do post-production and color grading. So let me change that, change it right now to uh, dynamic. All right, so right now I got uh, Filmic Pro on dynamic and as you can see, uh, the colors look a lot better. Uh, it's almost similar to log, which you can uh, in post-production, you can add color and color grading and stuff like that to it. But uh, if you don't want to, you can use uh, dynamic on Filmic Pro to give you some pretty good colors in the background. Also in Filmic Pro, they got what's called a normal mode. Uh, the normal mode will add a lot more dynamics, uh, a lot more color to your background. So you don't have to use post-production. Now keep this in mind. When using Filmic Pro and you crank it up to 4K and do extreme and everything, these are going to be big files. Now, uh, most of everybody that get the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro will get the 256 gigabyte version. Uh, just so you know that when you're using Filmic Pro and uh, you're using it in extreme 4K, it is going to be huge files. I mean, one gig, two gigs, three gigs for a few minutes. So just keep that in mind. But this is dynamic. Now I'm going to switch it over to normal so y'all guys can see some of the difference in color uh, by using Filmic Pro in the normal mode. All right, so this is the normal mode uh, of Filmic Pro. And uh, by using the normal mode again, you don't have to do a lot of work in post-production if you want to, but you don't have to. Right now, uh, this is uh, the normal mode, a lot of bright colors, everything looks pretty good. If you look at the background, the colors look really good, the sky looks good, and everything in between. But uh, if you got the OnePlus 7 Pro, and if you want to use Filmic Pro, uh, these are some of the options that uh, I would recommend to you guys if you want to use Filmic Pro. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the settings uh, of Filmic Pro, and I am going to uh, go around and shoot some footage 
using uh, Filmic Pro. So check this out. Alright, so what I just showed you guys was Filmic Pro here and I got the OnePlus 7 here uh, on the dock here. So what I was talking about as far as log support, uh, when you hit this button here, uh, you get your, your calibration, your color uh, uh, calibration here, which you can change your color, which is nice, right? So you can change all your color uh, configurations uh, based on the scene. Uh, when you click this button, you have uh, a couple of options here. You got natural, dynamic, you have flak, and you have a log version 2. Now log version 2 is the update from Filmic Pro. Uh, so I film a lot of my videos on log version 2 and I use color grading and lux packs and stuff like that to fix some of the issues uh, with that. But if you got uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro, uh, you can use this and it will take care of some of the uh, missing uh, color issues and some of the things that you find in with your OnePlus 7 Pro. All right, so uh, right there, I got it all dynamic here uh, so again you can make your adjustment with saturation and vibrancy uh, with uh, filming Pro to make your footage perfect all right so when you get out of here also some of the settings I want to show you guys is really quick your resolution I got it at uh, 4k uh, 2160p then I got filming extreme and then Kodak I got HEVC uh, so that's and I got it this at 60 by that aspect ratio and so forth and so on uh, also the audio I didn't use external mics I just used the uh, the mic from uh, the, the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, which is nice you can change your your hertz and stuff like that also um, you could do your presets and stuff uh, and I'm shooting this at 30 frames per second and you could go all the way up to 60 frames you can shoot at uh, 240 frames uh, per second if you want to get that slow-mo effect all right, so Filmic Pro is a win-all, be-all uh, for anybody that want to shoot really good professional content using a smartphone, right? So this is Eric Premier's Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Filmic Pro and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.